This is the event for tomorrow. Here's the sun, the moon. Linda I Smith is preparing her high school astronomy class for the eclipse. They create their own annular eclipse with a penny and a sheet of paper. This simple project helps them understand what will take place tomorrow. It's a little unusual to have the moon shadow cover over us. Uh, it scared people to death in the old days when they didn't realize what was happening and at midday it all of a sudden got dark. They thought, oh my gosh, evil spirits are eating the sun. Kids in Mrs. Smith's class, like Christina Pepper, are excited. Uh, definitely. I mean, whenever you can go out and see things hands-on, it makes it 100% better. Tomorrow morning, the moon will blot out the sun, but the moon will not be big enough to cover the sun completely. What this is is a, almost a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to view one of the wonders of nature. So much light pours into your retina, damage starts almost immediately. But nature can be dangerous, and Linda Smith is teaching her class to use extreme caution when viewing the eclipse. Her class will use mylar glasses, but you can also use the spot mirror method. You take a plain mirror, put masking tape over all but a small area, uh, dime-sized or quarter-inch in diameter, and use that small, clear area of mirror to bounce an image of the sun into a shaded area onto white cardboard. Mrs. Smith says her class is prepared, and she is looking forward to the experience. I've been teaching here a lot of years, and uh, to have something like this roll right through our backyard, uh, I'm just really delighted. Now, if that Bill Peterson guy could give us some clear weather tomorrow, then I'll really be happy. Rick Albrecht has everything he needs to view the eclipse in his own backyard. It's a bit of a climb to get to his private observatory, but well worth the hike once you step inside. Bought some scrap metal and machine and welded all this stuff together. There's about 1,200 pounds of, of hardware here. It took Rick an entire year uh, to build this 16-inch telescope, uh, which gives him a perfect view of the heavens. There's it's equipped with a camera uh, so he can capture what he sees on film. He hopes to get some nice pictures of the solar eclipse. Shot. Tomorrow we're going to see, uh, you know, the, this nice clean disk of the sun uh, interrupted by the moon's shadow going in front of it. And uh, at one point, and, and this will be the most interesting point, is when the moon is uh, entirely in front of the sun. In other words, you'll, you'll see the sun all the way around the edge of the moon. And uh, it, it makes a, a rather interesting photograph. Rick says many of his neighbors probably think of him as the mad scientist, but they'll be with him tomorrow inside the observatory to view the eclipse. You know, I share it with them, obviously, and because it's that's kind of what I enjoy doing is sharing it with others. You could say Rick goes to great lengths to catch lunar and solar eclipses when they occur. He traveled to Hawaii a few years ago and even delayed a business trip tomorrow to catch the big event. That's wild. The annular eclipse arrived in Rochester at 125 this afternoon. It lasted about six minutes and ten seconds, but those who saw it say the memories will last a lifetime. Wow. Glad you got to see it? Absolutely. I'm not going to be around here, I don't think, in, in the hundred years to see the next one <laughs> in Rochester. Okay. One of the things that you're going to be seeing, we can look around for, is you can see birds landing in the trees and start roosting and putting their beaks under their wings just like it's nighttime. This was an opportunity for dads to take the time to explain the true wonders of nature. Watching today's eclipse was a labor of love for these astronomy club members. They pulled out the heavy equipment for this once-in-a-lifetime event. This is a Mead telescope with a high-resolution camcorder attached. A little more? Yeah, we need at least more. And stargazers like Zahir Vali Mohammed hope today's excitement will fuel a continued interest in astronomy. Hopefully, uh, some of that enthusiasm from the eclipse will carry over for kids and adults. Uh, and we all know staring at the sun can damage your eyes, so folks came up with all kinds of ways to watch the event. Rigged up boxes, special glasses, and who's that in the welding shield? I can't see the sun. There's something in the way. So today's eclipse showed us just how interesting astronomy can be, even if it only lasts six minutes. Mark Hayes, New Source 13.
pretty impressed. Yeah, doing those every 10 years. Yeah, right. Wow. I mean, there you go. Every 10 bucks. I'm uh, going to be going to MTC College soon. I'll be taking like science stuff. Uh, I think it's science. Really? Yeah. Um, can I see him again? Every 10 bucks. Take a look. That's wild. Look, quick. That is so wild. Oh, shit. Look, look, look. Five minutes of that. Five minutes. Oh, you see it at the end? Yep.